welcome back to Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. We are in the tower. We are about to face Zelgius slash the Black Knight and his good buddy Lavelle, who has Marsha's Wishblade. But uh, before we do that, we have got to do a bit of housekeeping. <clears throat> so first of all, we want to do some specs peeing. And we want to start with Har plus eight res. I assume that's because he's standing on a tile of some sort. No, that's not why. Uh, okay, he's getting, oh, it's plus three from the Irvan and plus five from Kurth, and then plus five defense also from Kurth. Okay, fine. <clears throat> anyway. So we're gonna do that. And it would be really amazing if he got speed, but more likely he won't. I think. Yeah, so he's now one shy of his skill and defense caps. Um, all right. Next, uh, we've got, oh, Nasala and Marsha. I'm going to do Marsha. She's a little cheaper to level up. Okay, no strength again. But she just capped her defense. And she's already capped her HP, so... <clears throat> she's got three cap stats now. Which means maybe getting to the point where we can... I mean, you know, it should be noted that the significance of BXP manipulation at this point in the game, you know, there's only four chapters left. Um, and when you talk about future ones, there will be only three chapters left, so it's, you know, it's kind of whatever, but it's fun. Uh, but what I wanted to see is, so she's capped HP, strength is 30, skill is 40, cap speed, luck is 50, res is 35, so she's really still not very likely to get strength. This is the biggest drawback to bringing her, is that she wasn't likely to improve the strength situation too easily. Um, she'd gain almost six levels in the last chapter, so <laughs> that's impressive. Uh, all right, anyway, Nasala. Yeah, that's not too expensive. Get you some strength, man. Do it. Duh. Even dodgier. He's actually got a 45% strength growth, which is, so his HP is actually lower than that. His speed and luck are, are well, his speed is tied at 45, his luck is 55. So I mean, he has a reasonable chance of getting speed, or uh, strength, sorry, but which was not to be. Now, ideally, Actually, I guess I could look at... I think Volk's growth rates are good enough that he'd rather have a natural level. Although, let's see. What are his chances of getting strength? Uh, it's tied for third after skill and speed. Which is... means the chances are... I don't know. It's hard to calculate, but... He has 65 speed, 60 skill, 50 strength and HP, 45 defense, and then 20 luck and 15 res. That's pretty far back in the five magic. Um, yeah, I mean, he's not... He's not close to capping anything in particular. I'm surprised that his HP cap is higher than 50, actually. 
That means it's at least as high as... Oh, no, wait. Har hasn't hit his. Never mind. <clears throat> I mean, it's so cheap to level him. But... And, and I guess... Is he more like... He's got a 50% chance to get strength just straight up. That's... I guess I could... Let's see, so... He is slightly more likely to... He is expected to get slightly more stats from a regular level up, but some of those stats don't matter. Um, but basically, if we say... So he's got 310 total, like, level up points or whatever. So if you say 50 over 310, that's a 16% chance for it to be the first stat selected. And then you have some, like, sort of chaining thing. But if you assume it stays roughly at 16%, then you... Let's see. Um... That would suggest that there's a 75% chance that he gets strength? That seems too high. Definitely seems too high. The fact that it's tied for third? Like... Hmm... Am I doing the math for that right? Or is it 25% chance he does get it? 83... Oh, I think that's right. 80... 0.83... No, I did something wrong. Dang it. Stupid math. I gotta be like that. So, eighty-three percent chance, or close to eighty-four percent chance, to not get strength in one level up. Um, take that to the third power, and you get fifty-eight. Okay, so fifty-eight percent chance to not get strength. Forty-two percent, or forty. Well, Really 41%. Okay, so 41% chance to get strength from BXP if the if roughly if my way of doing the math is right, which it may not be, because it's actually there's like some kind of complicated like conditional probability thing. But basically I think he's better off not. So Mia is distressingly expensive to level. Um, and she does actually have a good strength growth. Uh, bu -bu -bu. it's like 40 or 45, 45, yeah, so right now she has capped HP and defense, which are, her HP growth is high, but her defense growth is lower, so she's, she's actually, she is likely to go skill, speed, strength, but the fact that she's so far away from a level means I think I don't want to do that. Also, she is quite close to her strength cap anyway. So, well, yeah, I don't know. Um, okay, so is there anybody else? We could do Shinon. He's Captain Magic. Um,. Let's see, his growth rates, he's likely to go skill, speed, HP, 
followed by defense, followed by strength. I would like him to get speed. So I could use BXP as a way to, like, push his speed growth. I mean, his speed growth is 65. Um, so... Yeah, he's right now he's expected to get 3.2 stats. So in that sense, he doesn't want a BXP level. Um, his speed growth, as I said, is 60, which is um, let's So he should be a little under 50% chance to get speed from a BXP level. So he also doesn't want to BXP level. Man, what am I doing with all this BXP? Tibarn started off getting decent XP from that last fight and then just didn't. <laughs> so unfortunately, he's pretty expensive. Nile even more so. Sonic, he doesn't want that. Ike wouldn't mind it, but it's really not necessary. Like, he doesn't need resistance in this fight. He doesn't really need luck either. He's just going to win. Like, the Black Knight just doesn't really stand a chance against him, I don't think. Actually, let's, let's look at that. So, he doubles. He's got 37 speed. Black Knight's only got 30. Black Knight's got 40 defense. Ike has 55 attack. I can switch to a melee weapon to get a little bit more. Oh, I can also use the hammer. <laughs> um, yeah, if I use the hammer, Black Knight's in trouble. Um, Black Knight does have Nihil, so um, neither of them are going to activate their mastery skills. Uh, let's see, 80 avoid, 194 hit, so he, he can't avoid the Ragnell. He can maybe avoid the hammer, but just has like a slight chance. Um, but let's suppo suppose, for the sake of argument, I stuck with the Ragnell. We're doing 15 damage per, so 30 damage a turn. And he does have imbue, so he restores 18. So that's only a net of 12, which means it actually takes six turns to kill him um but switching to a hammer might just one turn him um let's see ragnall does 18 hammer does 39 so that's an extra 21 so that's like 76 attack um Minus 40 is 36 is enough to kill him. Yep, so. So, that's a thing to keep in mind, for sure. Um, anyway, I think we just don't have anyone else that we want to spend BXP on, unfortunately because using BXP is like the most fun part of this game. <laughs> and item wise, ideally Marsha would like to like another like accurate um, doodad, but Groucho marks or nonsense, um, which are admittedly, oh no, I guess they're basically the same. All right, actually, we'll just do this. Also, I had to throw a concoction of the convoy, so we'll take that back. It's really not. Uh, I think weapon-wise, otherwise, we're in reasonable shape. 
anybody else is really chewing through anything too badly. Mia used a decent amount of Vig Kati, but not enough to be a concern. Yeah. And... Yeah. So... Uh, now we... Oh, does Lavelle have... I assume, yeah, he's a Sentinel. He's got... Oh, he's got Resolve, too. Ooh. That's exciting. Well... Oh, do these guys have... Ugh, status... Crap. Nope, they do not. So basically what we want to do is we want to send some really fast guys over here to clean out the uh, those guys. Mia cannot be in range of Ike without Ike moving back, just incidentally. Oh, Ike's standing on cover and so is the Black Knight. How charming. I guess you can't one around the Black Knight on turn one because he's standing on cover. You gotta wait. Gotta wait. Alright, let's, let's do this so Mia can kill any of them. Actually, did she does she have enough speed? I don't think she has 38. No, she does not have enough speed to double that guy. Um, but Nyla and Tib aren't in the solid do. And then, so we got, I got a bunch of guys with like 27, 28 speed in that vicinity. So, oh, one guy with 29. So for that, so Shinon doesn't really want to do deal with that either. I mean, you can take the guys with 27, which there are some. These three. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, I don't know why warriors are so fast. But, uh. He can stay in the back. Is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I guess up one so you can hit all three of these guys okay so then har 25 23 24 26 26 26 25 25 and 24 so har wants to take this group and or this group of dudes how much speed does he he only has 24 what are you doing man what <laughs> what's wrong with you Oh, oh my. Um Yeah, Canigus and Gifka want to just not well actually Gifka can double some of these guys. Um the one of these guys. Canigus wants to fight over here because he's not doubling those guys. Um but Nyla is so, Nyla is, and Tibarn is. So, we'll do, set those two up to go over there. Um, Marsha is doubling over here, so put her out there. Um... And we want, um, let's just kind of put Raphael in the middle. So I guess nobody has like a Worm Slayer, so we don't have to worry about that. Nobody has Thunder Magic. So while Har isn't going to double things, he also isn't going to take damage, so that's nice. <clears throat> So, 
And also, he can do about as much damage as anyone to Lavelle. I mean, the lions can do more, but... Um, so we might want to... Which side do we want to send Har to? This side or this side? I mean, these guys are generally going to have both more defense and more attack compared to the sword masters. Har is not going to take damage from almost any of them. Um, he will take two damage from that guy. <laughs> One damage from that guy. So I think Har goes to the left and Gifka goes to the right. Maybe we actually do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we have Gifka just park right in the middle of these guys and fuck them up. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six. Maybe we just end up chanting. Oh, no, wait. We chant for Gifka, which means we have Kanegus be the one that does that. And then Gifka, yeah, is probably one of the chanted units after using his Laguz gem. That would stand to reason. All right. Uh, who has more defense between... Uh, they have pretty similar defense. These guys probably have less HP. So overall, the warrior is a little bit bulkier than the halberdiers. So having Marsha go up against halberdiers rather than warriors makes sense. <clears throat> Whereas Nasala, because of Adept, maybe wants to go up against the warriors more so. I don't think any of them have, like, crossbows. So what about that? Um... Although, if we're going to chant, where are we going to chant? So we can take out three of the four sword masters, and then maybe Har just goes ahead and... I mean, he can't... He can't one-shot any of them, can he? That, they have 68, 68, 68, 69. He has 65 attack with the buff from Ina, so it's close, <coughs> but no cigar. Though, if we can get, keep Sonicky out of range of some of these enemies, we can actually have him take one of them by having her chip for him, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, Yeah, yeah, we can actually do that as long as we have somebody in this column blocking this guy from getting to Sonicky. And she's in perfect position for it, but we might as well drop her further back. Like that. All right, since Har has Kanto. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, no, but we need to get Nyla far enough forward that... Well, which one can Mia not kill? Necessarily, at least. The back one. Alright, that's fine. So, Sonicky and Har dealing with that. Yeah, whatever. Let's just. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Should maybe put Nyla in front. Since she's the toughest of. or between her and Mia. Um, I don't think I'm concerned about these archers hitting Tibarn. I don't think that really matters. I mean, they probably won't hit him. And I mean, 30 bonus damage is like a lot. I will admit that. I will admit it. But he can also Kanto back. So every time I say Kanto back and I do kind of say it a lot, I think of that casino planet from Last Jedi, Canto Bite. Alright. Then Volk can kind of attack whatever. Like, they won't attack him. As near as I can tell, uh, Stillness is really pretty darn effective, so just have him, like, come up here and hit some of these halberdiers or something. Um, so I think the chant plan 
is Gifka, Nasala, Marsha, and Shinon? Or maybe even Volk. Though Raphael doesn't really want to be standing here, probably. It'd be pretty hard to defend him from there, depending on whether Lavelle moves, depending on whether these archers move. I could rescue him back with Kurth and Ina. Um, I mean, obviously, they're pretty vulnerable, too. But if I don't go that route and I just chant, like, somewhere in this vicinity, I, that's, you know, like, certainly going to be safer. I'd also chant for Kanegus. I'd have to get pretty far forward to do that. Well, no, I wouldn't. I guess I could... Eight, four, five, six, seven. Have him go here. And then have... In which case... I actually want Marsha here. She come here, hit this guy, come over like that, something. Oh, I can't really do Nasala that way too, though, unless maybe I do like this. Still not doing it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, this is arguing for going ahead and doing the chant right there. Because Nasala can get to here, Kanegus can get to here, you know, Marsha can get to here and then back off, and then we move Gifka like over here and have him run up to like there. Something like along those lines. Um And then Volk comes in like afterwards, maybe even like shoves Racing backwards and just sort of stands there, pretending to be invisible. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go that route. I really need to put myself in a position where I can, like, do more than just have Volk shove and, like, have more people involved in that sort of coverage. So, you know, like, Raphael ends up here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so then Soth can come rescue him. Perth can run up, transform, take drop. Kind of works. Might as well do this. Um, okay, I think we have the beginnings of a plan. Now, the other thing we need to do is consider exactly our... Paragon Scrolls. So obviously, uh, you know, Sonicy didn't do much with hers, but um, Shinon got a decent amount done. Marsha got a lot done. Um, I, I'm not sure. Be interesting put, to put it on Volk, but I don't think that is worth removing Adept from him. Like, leveling him isn't that important. I could take Vantage off of Nasala and put Adept on him. Is he getting enough XP to make that sensible? I don't know if he is. Um... I mean, I could just leave it where it is, uh, though, you know, Marsha's at the point where she wants BXP levels. But then again, let's see. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha uh, has remaining growth rates, 30 strength, 40 skill, 50 luck, 35 res, and 20 magic. I mean... So like a BXP level for her at this point gives her most likely luck, skill, defense, or res, and then strength. Um, I mean, she is close to capping her luck. Uh, otherwise, not that close to capping stats. I don't, yeah. Which 
would it cost to just give her a level? A lot. A lot. Uh, yeah, it's a tough call. I mean, I could put it on, like, Soth. And, like, you know, Kurth. Like, I could just put it on some of the bad units and hope that they can get to the point where they're not so bad. I don't know that I really buy that that's, like, even worth doing. Um, having it on Shinon is still fine. He hasn't capped much of anything. Um, and he has good enough growth rates that he ought to be able to take advantage of it effectively. So it's really Marsha where it's questionable. Like, I already have one on sonic -y, so, you know, that's kind of whatever... I'm trying to think who would even be a reasonable candidate. Volk would be a reasonable candidate, I will admit. Um, I don't mind taking Vantage off of him, but he doesn't actually have room for it, which is Vantage off. He'd have to take Adept off, um, which I, I do like having on him. Although, Adept on me or Marsha is not crazy either. So, I could just swap those for now. I mean, I guess the the counter argument is that even if Marsha gets a bunch of like mediocre to bad levels like in battle, it doesn't really matter because she's close enough to her caps that she's not going to miss out on the opportunity to do anything like valuable except maybe grow some extra skill. And if I roll a bunch of low percentage chances at at both strength directly and at some of her stats that are close to capping, then some of those rolls might pan out and then I can you know just be expert yeah so I think I think I leave it I think I leave it on her but I don't necessarily focus on getting her kills the way that I did last time I think that is what we do so I think we are ready to begin Let's double check. Yeah, all right. So obviously with Ike, we just leave the Ragnall equipped and we stand on the cover and let let Mr. Black Knight come to us. And then if he spends a turn standing on the cover and not doing that, then we get a little bit sad and we attack him with the hammer. Actually, I guess suppose the hammer might drive him off the tile. Um, so that would have some value. But I'm willing to... I, I mean, I'm not concerned. This is another 10-turn limit map where it's not going to take me early 10 turns, so I'm not really concerned. Um, oh, did I move Sonicky back from... <laughs> and I guess, like, Makaya could shove her. Makaya didn't have anything that she needed to specifically do within the plan that I outlined. Um, maybe I even give the kill to Sonicky. I don't know. Alright, where's the guy? This is the guy. No, no, this is the guy. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Um, 38, 2, 37. Is there any reason? I guess she doesn't need to use the vague. Hottie, but the Vague Hottie does give her defense. Am I going to bless the Vague Hottie? That's the question. I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, do we want Tyrion further forward or Nyla? Uh, 
Let's go Nyla, I guess. Do a barrel roll! He doesn't need to use the Urvan. Oh, I could also use the Brave Axe. And then Sonic, he doesn't need to get involved. I don't mind setting up a kill for Sonic, but I guess I'll worry about that in a little bit. So, we were going to have Kanegus come in here and kill something. Presumably, a guy with 20, one of the guys with 28 speed, probably the guy with the ranged weapon. Anigus don't care. You're right up in the middle of your army. You ain't gonna do anything to him anyway. Yes! Where is... Oh, there's a gift gun that's hiding. Okay, so... Sala... this guy out and doesn't get as much strike rank as I want him to. I guess the counterpoint to me complaining about him activating terror is that he would like, if he keeps activating it, then he doesn't need the strike rank. He'll just kill things anyway. This is one of the reasons I brought him. Um... It's not a kill either. Killer Lance doesn't kill off of a single crit. So I guess we just go for this and then. like ridiculous to put Raphael up here, but I think it'll be okay. <laughs> There's only like a billion enemies that many of whom have ranged weapons and stuff, so you know, it's like whatever. Um So we need to... Do what? What do we need to do? Maybe a wall the front. Like, you know, Kanegus, Gifka, um, the Solid and Inverted V. Although, actually, no, we don't need to do that because if Volk is going to shove Raphael back, then we have, like, Kanius, Gifka, and Volk, and then in a in an Inverted V with when, where Raphael ends up back here, then we, like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Or we could do that. I like taking out the Archers. Could also maybe. Oh yeah, that's how Sonic -E can contribute. Okay. Okay. I like it.
how exposed do I want Heart of You with the Brave Axe? I don't want him to like run through the entire thing right now, and he can't really do anything to screen Raphael, so I think I'm just gonna drop him back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I can't avoid that guy, but that guy has a ranged weapon. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just moving back one. Three, four, five, six, seven. All right, do it, Sonicy. Bang! Look at that. The value. Speed! With the L light equipped, she actually doesn't get doubled by anything on this map short of the dead Swordmasters. How about that? How about that? And she's almost fast enough to double the absolute slowest armors. There's like one guy with 23. So yeah. That's exciting. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I do like that. Um, still shove back with Volk. That's still helpful. What is Marsha doing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Same kind of deal, and then she's part of the formation. Okay. I should check something, though, before I do that. Yikes. That is a little much. A little much. Maybe that's not the way to go. Maybe it's not the way to go. I mean, if I take these two guys out... One, two, three, four, five, six. So I only have to shove Raphael back and then rescue, drop him back here, and he's out of range of, like, all this mess. So that's probably better anyway. And then I don't have to put Marsha in range of archers. That being said, Nasala taking them out, I think is still pretty solid. Oh. Well. What can you do? I don't know if it'll fare any better against anybody else. Maybe these guys. No. Okay. Yeah. I wonder if you get to have that conversation with Nasala if Nasala's not there with the, the blood pack thing. I guess I'd kind of assume not. Uh, Alright. How are we doing? Making progress. It's undeniable now. It was deniable before, but now it's undeniable. Alright, so... Which side do we want Kanegus on? Which side do we want Gifka on? Does it matter? Probably not. Probably not. Can't really see how it would. Oh wait, what do we want Marsha to attack? Oh man. What? Oh, cover tile. Yeah, you can't even friggin' tell. Alright, well that that double plus means that we want uh, Kanegus and Gifka taking those guys out. Because they don't care. Oh, yeah. Do 
we want... I think we want him here. We're gonna have Volk there. And we got kind of a wall in the front. Tank! Get wrecked, Scrub! Scrub a love dub! Alright. Now we gotta get. We gotta get some. Something going over here. So maybe that's what Marsh is gonna do. Like these guys, 47. I guess Earth survives that just fine, even like after he gets doubled. So we rescue. We item up. Or no, we take. Item up. Oh, I didn't... Well, I suppose I'm having 10 speed as opposed to 20 doesn't really matter. <laughs> but, yeah, I... Uh, I guess I, I guess Marsha could drop him. Is that better than Shinon dropping him? I don't know. Oh, did I know that? Did I just fail to? Yeah, okay. Um, so Shinon dropping him is probably better. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so this guy can also hit Kurth. So we should take out one of these two guys if at all possible. Which it might not be. That's not a kill. That is a kill. Now, we got two archers in range, though. Damn it, why didn't I put Ina closer? Arg. I can put somebody in front of Kurth and then, he, you know, fine. Let's see what their hit rates are. No. Ah, eh, too high. Too high. All right, what about over here? Back to there. This guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can totally hit her. Yeah, I think. Um, oh, that guy can attack Soth. That's a little unfortunate. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. But these guys can't. Which means these guys can't, so he can get attacked by some axe dudes, but I think basically. Six, seven. I think we drop Raphael on this side. Probably with Shin on. Because he doesn't double those guys. And then we have Marsha park right here. Ina, 
Athena, probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So she should probably use a down. Does that increase her movement to six? It does! Amazing! Alright, she's still trash, but I mean combat wise. Or discussed that she has hypothetical utility, which I would have taken better advantage of if I put her closer. Um Alright, I don't think there's anything to like silence. It doesn't seem super relevant, so Makaya, you can like shove Sonic E forward, I guess. Mike, you get to wait. Whiff. Ow! Oh man, so it's gonna die. Doesn't matter, the so it's gonna die. I wonder if that's a loss condition. I guess it probably isn't. Makaya dying is probably a loss condition. Oh, he dodged! Thanks, Kurth. Thanks, Daunt. Ah, he died. Alright, yeah, not a loss condition. 